the sun came up for a minute, a minute ago, and I thought what a perfect time to run out and try to get some video of my huge Echeveria that has been just blooming away for, oh, I don't know, weeks and weeks now. And it is actually still outside on the 29th of October because of this huge flower stalk that I don't have the heart to cut off. I just, it's worked so hard and it's so beautiful. I don't want to cut it off, so. But today is D-Day, so yeah, it definitely needs to be done today. So I think I might actually try to find a way to accommodate it, guys, because this is beautiful. And it's still going, like, it's still going. Oh, oh, sun! So I'm so happy I actually get to show you guys, because it's been, yeah, cloudy for weeks. Let's do it. Those ones just started too, so I'm not gonna cut that one off, but the plant itself, it's looking real sad, guys. Like, I think it needs to come inside. Oh, it's so cold. But I'm, yeah, so that are these blooms here, and I'm not even sure what type of Echeveria this is. If you guys know, it looks like this. <laughs> Woo, so let's see what else is blooming. Hey guys, oh, I just disturbed a fly, I think, that was pollinating the flowers. Um, this is the Chinese dunce cap, and it looks really crazy because this is what they do when they flower. So they send up these big, long stalks, and it is a terminal thing, so the flower, this came out of the big ones. This is how they go out, but they look like these big, fuzzy caterpillars full of blooms. Like, do you see that? I apologize for the wind. Whoa. Okay, there. How beautiful is that? And I'm gonna grab a little rosette and bring them in. They are cold hardy, so the plant itself is starting to go dormant right now. But I do think just in case something happens, um, I'd like to have a little bit of it inside as a little bit of a, I don't know, just a security blanket. Um, there's a sedum that is still outside because it had mealybugs. And okay, also in bloom, which needs to come inside today, is some string of beads. They haven't opened, so this isn't very exciting, but you can see the little buds right there, so I guess it's just in bud. So that plant definitely needs to come inside too. Let's go down there. All right, and I have one more plant blooming inside, I think. So my Christmas cactus here is just in bud and not in bloom, but I definitely wanted to include it because I was very worried that it was not going to continue to bud, and it is. So thank you, Lynn. Super happy that it is. You can see they've gotten so much bigger. And there's a new one coming in, and they go all the way around. So I'm super happy for that plant. And lastly, this might be a bit premature because they're only just starting to open, but I just couldn't wait to share them because they are so beautiful. This is Echeveria hegii tomliensis, something like that. One day I will learn how to pronounce that correctly. Until then, I won't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna see if I can get a steady shot and zoom in. So they are just starting to open. I was wondering if I could cross pollinate my two Echeverias that are in bloom right now. They're very different, so I don't know if that matters. Um, I just thought that would be fun. I don't know, new thing to try. So I'm super happy that even though I had to completely change up the conditions of these plants by bringing them in, um, that the ones inside seem to be doing good and the ones outside haven't died yet but I am gonna go ahead and bring in that Echeveria later today, but that's a whole nother video, I think. Uh, that's probably gonna be in my succulents move inside vlog, I would say. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. <laughs> Sorry this video was so random and kind of like rushed and all over the place. So yeah, have a great day, guys. Bye.